know, the more that I start sketching and the more that, you know, I, I get into it and look at other stuff, I'm getting ideas. So this is one right here. And this is the other one right here. I want to try to do something different. Man, look, that one looks badass. Look. Okay, so now imagine, you know, these, instead of having like a vinyl insert where the speakers are going to go at, um, or painted, what if we do like a nice tile and like that one looks really bad. That one would be the one. What's up, Monster of Gang? Welcome back to another video. And man, right before we even get started with the video, man, I want to go ahead and give you guys a big thank you, man. A big thank you. We got to an obstacle that I thought that we would never reach, you know. And man, we hit 3,000 subscribers, man. We're probably sitting at like 3,003 subscribers. But listen, like, man, that's like really awesome. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank each and every single one of you guys for helping, you know grow this channel to what it's becoming you know what i'm saying man we're slowly trying to climb up the ladder the ladder but man you know um i want to thank you guys really so much for everything all the views all the subscriptions um and just you know we're we're becoming close you know what I'm saying this is more than just a youtube channel you know what i'm saying i know some of you guys by specific you know names or usernames um you know i sometimes let you guys inside my my you know personal life or my life and you know we're just here to go out, grow and you know get to know each other a little bit better on the matter you know i've met some of you guys in the area and man you know it's, it's been awesome so i want to go ahead and thank you guys um big 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 time for that stuff man but we're only going up you know saying we're only going up this is only the beginning but man we still got to grind so we're actually at home depot right now i came to get some wood because we are going to start these door panels you know what i'm saying um when I get back to the house, we're going to go over some designs that I got planned out. Um, and then, you know, you guys drop some comments. You guys let me know what you guys think or which route we should go. Um, I kind of already got an idea of the route that I want to take. But, man, listen, like, these door panels have been driving me like crazy. Because, you know, I, I want to try to do something different. I want to be different. And I want to, you know, somewhat, you know, push the limits, you know, on these door panels. And the ideas that I got and, you know, the videos that I've been watching... On other people's builds and you know just regular woodworking um, videos that I've been watching as well too uh, man we're gonna try to test the waters of our creativity on these door panels man so enough talking let's go inside Home Depot real quick get the wood that we need and I'm gonna look at a few tools I was gonna buy a new table saw but I'm just gonna wait you know what I'm saying um, so we actually move inside like our own wood shop and everything so we can really buy a standstill table saw but man let's get inside this uh home depot and buy this wood you know we like to get our wood cut here at home depot so we're just gonna get like strips of 18 cut down and then the rest we can do at the crib uh you know just to make it easier on us to load inside the truck and cut on the table saw that we got gonna make my door panels out of MDF man just because of how MDF works with the routers but I just wanted to well, look at some stuff so this is half quarter inch because so I want to like do like different levels of like um, the inches but we'll just figure it out with the rings but let's get some three-quarter inch wood All right, piece of three-quarter inch wood MDF luckily there was one on top of right here to get to the bottom but we're gonna be a nightmare okay so let's go get this guy cut man that was a workout i don't even need to like hit the gym or nothing man lifting this wood and all that stuff man that thing's a workout Cut, man. 
and the pieces that we need. Excellent. Okay, now look. We are going to be doing mesh, and I actually like the mesh from Home Depot. The openings are a lot bigger than the usual ones. But we are going to. Okay, look, this is I got big pieces. These are 24 by 24. Okay, so we got to keep that in mind when we start building the door panels. Um, but I'm going to. When we start building, we're gonna start figuring out what kind, like sizes and shapes that we're gonna be using. So we gotta keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah. Once we start building, we're gonna know exactly what we got going on. So uh, we'll see what happens, man. So man, definitely subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with these door panels because they are gonna be legendary. Man, I want to try to do something different. Man, look, that one looks badass. Look. Okay, so now imagine, you know these instead of having like a vinyl insert where the speakers are gonna go at um, or painted what if we do like a nice tile and like that one looks really bad that one would be the one and you know you got the white marble which is this one right here like this one right here it's vicious I love that one let's see if we can find a, a better like this one's clean. It'd be that one or that one. You guys let me know which one you guys think. So we can actually have bigger ones. Ooh, look at this one. This is 12 by 24. 12 by 24. Damn, look at this. That would be killer. But that one right there is killer too. Well, definitely you guys drop down in the comments, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. Look at this, man. That right there with the LEDs hidden on it, man, would be crazy. Drop down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. This one, that guy. But listen man, definitely drop down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about that um, vinyl tile that we can do uh, for like the insert where the speakers will get, you know, um, inserted at. If we were to do those vinyl tiles, I would not want to hide hide how pretty it would look with that grill mesh. You see what I'm saying? Uh, grill mesh, I'd just like paint it uh, like rocky black. And then, you know, we would uh, do the paper bag trick with uh, the silver on it to glow. But with that like marble look, um, with that vinyl tile that's sticky, man, that thing would be badass. Like that would like really like set off the truck. It would like make it look like a little bit more casual. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're looking for. To like be casual, but vicious at the same time because those those tins inside um, with that man for the door panels are gonna be definitely like talking fierce. And I got speaker grills that we can, you know, put on top of it. So it looks like A1, man, like dang. Um, I wasn't expecting it for it to look that good. Um, I've, we've done vinyl tile in the house throughout time, but now trying to put it inside a truck for door panels, man, I think that'll be a really nice step, you know, um, being creative with it, you know? They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Look, I'm gonna show you. We're about to eat some breakfast real quick. Let's flip in this tortilla real fast. I got three tortillas total. We got some chicken, some fajitas, some rice, some beans, some ketchup, and a little ketchup. I have a little jarrito and a little sausage link. And we're about to grub so we can start our day off right with some breakfast, get some uh, energy, man. So your boys gonna eat real quick. Then I'm gonna get back on the camera and show you the designs. And then we'll see where the video takes us, man. So look at this, bon appetit. This is our 3K celebration meal right here, guys. Okay, so your boy is done eating. And now let's get, let's have um, door panel talk real quick. Okay, so I actually got like a few designs, you know, I'm actually getting better as I go trying to design because like I said, I don't do much of like the grill insert um, like mesh design. So like this is one that I drew up the other day. Uh, this actually I drew up yesterday, but now look at the ones that I drew today. You see what I'm saying? Like I, I'm getting, you know, the more that I start sketching and the more that, you know, I, I get into it and look at other stuff, I'm getting ideas. So this is one right here. And this is the other one right here. Can I draw any more after that? You know, I started drawing this one right here. But that was just a quick sketch. And they all start off as a quick sketch. But then once I start throwing the marker on there, that's when I get the, the better ideas. Okay, so basically, you know, 
the tins we can't stagger them or any of like that they really have to be in this area so obviously you know the the tins have to be in this area and you know we can somewhat drop it a little bit um, but that's about it we can't do nothing too crazy and then you know right here um, it's probably gonna have to be the YouTube name and then maybe the tweeter is gonna have to go in this area as well too so basically it's probably gonna have to just be like this whole area is going to have to be for just the tens this area right here is going to have to be for the youtube name and then somewhere in this area right here it is going to have to be the tweeter and i think we're just going to have to narrow it down and just maybe put just one tweeter um you see like this design right here so obviously once we start you know really doing woodworking um we don't really have much space to put the mousetrap and i want to be able to to do the mousetrap so it's like really readable so the mousetrap would actually have to go right here so it, um, our lettering doesn't look bunched up it's like perfect for you guys to read and the tweeter you know the tweeter can just stand right here on its own like I have no problem with that because remember the tile that we seen that has like that marble look um, the if we do like the insert plate that comes in from the back it has to be at least be 24 by 12 and the speakers can't really much fit inside there because uh you know it's 10 so 11 with the basket and everything that's 22 so we pretty much got like an inch and a half to play on both sides so that's like perfect and if we want to keep that look it would be here but now if we really want to keep that look we have to consider doing less uh openings so you can really get a grasp of that man so i i'm really going to stick with that idea with the um, that marble um vinyl tile so it gives it a badass look wrapped with the black vinyl that we're going to do is going to be awesome plus we're going to do some of the selenium trio treaters on there so they're like stainless steel so with the black on that it's going to look really good then we're going to paint the plexiglass black from the back so it has like a gloss look but we're going to let it glow up with the red on it so it's going to be look fantastic now i do have bus bar I like this metal um, bar right here and I do have like this stuff right here that you know man we're gonna try to incorporate on it just to give it like that nice um, you know 50s retro look uh, door panels but at the same time with a modern you know building you know mentality with it so it's gonna the more and more I keep looking at door panels builds from other places um, I've really been looking at a lot of, you know, custom door panels that this guy from California does on lowriders. Um, but you see, they keep, keep it nice and simple with maybe just like one six um, and a dome tweeter. And, but man, like the craftsmanship that they put on those things are like, oh my God, like that man, that guy is the truth. The, whoever that guy is that builds those door panels for like lowriders and stuff like that in California, man, you know, I bow down to you, big dog. But, you know, we're in the state of Florida, so we do hood, hood shit over here. So that's why we're going to try to incorporate some of that classiness in with some of the loudness, car audio, you know, stuff. So we can come up with a new, you know, design. And I really want to be able to, to see, like, the angles and everything uh, with the door panels. And sometimes they get lost when we do fleecing and fiberglass. But I really want to be able to see those angles. So, man, like, I'm just still trying to put two and two together you know what I'm saying so we can make sure that we have a nice strategy and we know what direction we're going to go with with these door panels man so you know your boy's going to keep studying right now man I'm just going down the rabbit hole looking at these door panels um instead of watching like car audio videos I am watching like hot rod build videos and lowrider build videos because you know everybody has a different style and you know if I can try to mix a little bit of style with everything all in together as one man we're gonna have one unstoppable style man you know because it's we're upon 2023 man and we need to do these door panels like if we're living on 2025 uh, you know what i'm saying so i mean we're gonna go in the right direction with these door panels you guys are definitely be a part of it and you guys are definitely gonna see it as we go man because we're gonna take these things to the next level and like i said everybody that gets a demo or everybody that wants to hear the truck the very first thing that they're going to see are these two front door panels or the door panel on the passenger side so we have to like as soon as they open up the door panel they be like okay okay i see you i see you and um it's it's just uh 
craftsmanship, woodwork, and all that stuff is really like going to the next level. With us building these door panels, you know, like it's very important. Um, I'll put it to you like this. The United States does not just jump into war and just win it. They win it because they sit down, they think about their plan of attack, they execute their plan of attack, they have the tools for their for their attack, and you know, once they start you know going into that attack, they you know got everything and they try to cover every single corner so they have a positive outcome and win that attack. You see what I'm saying? The same thing with this. We're you know trying to plan out strategize um gather intelligence uh see what works what doesn't work and what best fits what we're looking for so we can have the best outcome with these door panels that we can you know think of and i am really going to push the limits on these things craftsmanship we're going to go the extra mile to make sure that we build these doors a1 so the mousetrap gang man we we're like we set the standard in this stuff man you see what i'm saying Definitely, definitely, definitely tune in tomorrow because tomorrow we are going to get our hands dirty and we're going to get to work woodwork wise with these door panels. You guys are going to watch the sketch, the ideas, the products that we all bought come into play and build like some badass door panels, badass door panels. So I'm not going to hold up any much of your time, man. We did some talking in here. We went to go do some stuff. We're still researching. We're going to research for the rest of the night. And so tomorrow, man, we're going to, we're going to jump in it. You know, we're not even going to play no games. So, um, man, subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, big time for 3k subscribers. You guys are the bomb.com and man, we're only going to go up from here, man. You know, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so definitely tune in for tomorrow's man these build these build videos ain't gonna stop man we're only grinding to the top man and you guys are coming with us man so with that being said hope you guys have a uh, good rest of the day man and your boy is out we're gonna go keep studying and i'll catch you guys tomorrow man peace